Soft Vibrations showcases the gentle, industrious personality of a honeybee's superorganism and strives to reposition human interactions away from fear towards appreciation and, ultimately, conservation. Utilising a portable modular synthesizer with 20 handmade pressure sensors placed in and around the hive, we're able to translate the sounds and vibrations of the colony into intricate ambient music. The bees themselves become the musical performers, contouring and evolving electronic landscape via touch with the human musician acting as a conductor. The nature of experimenting with sound means that you never know what the result's going to be. It's almost a contradiction of ambient music. For something that's synthetic and electronic, it's very natural. Once we got into a hive and looked inside, we really did feel like there was a lot of similarities between ambient music and the workings of the hive. Months of experimentation led us to the first soft vibration event a three-hour musical journey where guests were invited to the Honeyfingers rooftop apiary to observe the collaboration in person. Most people won't get an opportunity to get up and close to a beehive. That's what we're really trying to capture, that feeling of being in close connection with bees and bringing it to life through sound. You're hearing the sounds of individual bees touching sensors, you're hearing the different areas of the hive, their vibrations, and you're hearing the general sound of the whole hive. The sounds that were being generated were obviously electronic beeps and rings and drones, but the feeling of those sounds, it was uncannily familiar. It felt like the sounds of a beehive, but in a completely different language. In the city, we often think that we're separated or divorced from nature, that nature only exists out in the wilderness. But as people were sitting on their picnic blankets, watching tens of thousands of bees coming and going, I think they started to realize that there was something going on here that perhaps they hadn't considered before. It was this beautiful metaphor for what we talk about with beekeeping. It's not just about the bees in the hive, it's about the landscape and the place that they live on. Bees have a bad reputation because so many people were stung when they were kids and they carry forward these negative associations. In many ways, Honeyfinger's work is about re-educating the public and destigmatizing bees. And situations like that, they arouse curiosity in people and they lead to conversations. And that was that even in the heart of the city, in a rooftop, you've got this beautiful urban ecology that we're a part of. As soon as you taste the honey from that hive, or listen to the music that they make, you share that feeling of being connected to nature.